Matthew 11:29. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourself. Um, I went to one of Michael Fonseca's uh, prayer meetings this morning online. That was the Bible verse that we reflected upon. And uh, one of the gentlemen talked about the yoke and how the yoke was specifically designed for that animal. And it, it was uh, fitted perfectly for that animal. So in other words, there was no discomfort. Um, it fit perfectly. And then um, when it did fit perfectly, the animal would toss back and forth and it was feeling uncomfortable and just didn't, wasn't doing what it was supposed to be doing, right? It wasn't put wasn't putting his full heart and strength into it. Um, and the same thing applies to us in our daily lives when we're not equally yoked. We're not, we haven't taken the, the, my yoke, Jesus' yoke that he's given us. Um, each of us has a purpose and a mission in life that God specifically called each of us for. Um, there's things that I'm supposed to be doing that only I can do. Uh, the same thing can be said for each of you. Um, I can't do some of the things that you guys can do. Only you can do them. Um, and that's why your yoke is designed the way it's designed. Um, if we think about Jesus and how he responded to people um, in his daily lives, meek and humble of heart. Um, he was always humble, right? And he spoke with truth. Um, his uh, He never passed judgment on people. Um, he really... Had, equally yoked, he was equally yoked with his father, and he challenged people to think and to contemplate the Word of God, because when he spoke, it was the Word of God, right? And I think that we're equally yoked with Christ, right? We're not, we're not passing judgment, we're not condemning, we're not looking, you know, thinking better of somebody or less of somebody else. Watch out, now, construction on road ahead. We're, uh, we're, we're basically, we're equally yoked. And so then when we speak truth, right, it's not our own convictions that's, um, or our own judgments that we're forcing upon somebody else, right? It's the Word of God, and it is penetrating hearts. And so no different than Jesus. When he spoke the truth, he spoke it, and then he let it penetrate that heart and let it do what it was supposed to do. And uh, he didn't uh, he encourage people. But he didn't drag him along. He just, you know, no different than the rich man, right? He told him what he needed to do, but he didn't stand there and convince him why he needed to do it. He just told him what it was. He had to sell all his possessions and follow him. And it wasn't like Jesus grabbed him by the hand and said, Come on, let's go. What, what are you waiting on? Come on, follow me. Let's go. He wasn't doing none of that. He spoke the truth, and he let the word penetrate the man's heart. And I think being equally yoked with Christ in our daily lives when we impact the world, that's what he's asking each of us every single day of our lives. So um, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Talk to you later.